Welcome back, everyone. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. We're gonna be late. I don't know if we saw this yet. We're, we're playing Life is Strange before the storm. Uh, thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with <laughs> and me. Why are you such a jerk? I see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. <laughs> why are you so mean? Okay, so last time we played, I was playing on a live stream, which is my, my, why my audio quality was kind of low. Um, this, I'm pretty sure, is exactly where we left off, though it's not where I played last. And I don't remember why I played it on a live stream. I probably said it during the live stream. Uh, but this isn't live. This is, this is all pre-recorded. Oh, there's water down there. Fancy. Oh, what's that? Is that a play? And a B? Maybe? I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Oh. Oh. Hey, Wyatt. <laughs> okay. Wait, well. what happened to your face? Oh, dear. Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, um, how about the Tempest? Last night they Black went to Peter, the bar? It's most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? Um, no. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. <laughs> Alright. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Alright, generic guy. Have fun reading that book of chemistry. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. Okay, okay let's look at that I stuff. I still got time before class. Meh. Well, Sci-fi movie club. At least not for now. See Warren or Brooke. Those are names that I recognize. They were in How the first could game. How possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nathan and tights. Can't unsee. Nathan, like Nathan, uh, um, Prescott? Oh, who are you? Oh. Oh, uh. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Chloe, this is Steph Green, Green Gritch. Hey, I got your DVD. Then we're next to picking tables. Okay, thanks. Hello, Skip. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. I don't think he's a mall cop. Chloe? Hey, Skip. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah. Right. Whatever. <laughs> I did what? ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Justin Williams. Yeah, that sounds you know like a familiar name. Um, Justin's mom. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. <laughs> tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. High risks? What? Sorry, I'm like re trying to readjust my microphone. It's a lot louder than I'm intending it to be. Okay. That should... This looks fine. Okay. Fireworks show. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut firewalk live. You went to the mill? Oh, firewalk. You saw a firewalk? 
It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. Good music? What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. <laughs> I'm in a band, actually. Oh, no sweet. Shit. Skip's really? in a band. We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Hell yeah, I'll listen to your demo, Skip. Yeah, okay. Great. <laughs> He's just playing it on his phone. Oh, this is jamming. I like this. Sounds very, like, Black Sabbath, almost. Maybe it's because of the bass. Never mind. Doesn't sound like Glass Sabbath anymore. <laughs> so, what did you? That was pretty cool, Skip. I like that a lot. It's really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. Of course, it was really. I liked it, Mr. Skip. Oh, oh, oh! I remember this lady. Oh, I, I like her. She's really cool. She she said words. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins. Today? That sounds ridiculous. Don't want to ruin the mystery. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, oh dear. There's a thing the press happening. cons have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life. Wasn't she on the opposite side in the first Ms. game? Miss Grant actually seems set. Oh. Uh, things will turn around, Miss Grant. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. <laughs> oh, Chloe. You're definitely some. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Get the DVD from Steph. Okay. If I want to talk to people, I want to. Who... Who's this? Can I talk? <laughs> Are you just walking around in circles? I saw you like five minutes ago. You're walking over that way. Here he goes. Need my DVD from Steph. He's gonna walk over here. He's gonna, gonna go over there. In about five somewhere. minutes, I'm gonna see him turn back up. He's just walking around the school. Oh, what a weirdo. Okay, he's, what's this? The future needs excellence. I mean... The future's an asshole. Wow. Chloe, don't be rude to the future. Hello. Uh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. You know, if you're nice to her, she's actually not oh, the Gary worst. Price. <laughs> Gary Price. It's Chloe. <laughs> oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. I hope you, you, you don't die. Say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Um, Rachel Amber? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. We murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. 
we're really not. Uh, so what's her she hair looks different you know, from the first game. Thing? I don't know why. Is it drugs? I don't know what's I'm different not about anything. it. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. You know? Rude. I mean, look at your face. Rude. Seriously, I don't why? know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Why? Why? Why would? Yeah, well, why would you talk? Everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. I uh, so you're apparently. jealous of Rachel Amber. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. All right. Let's sabotage I'm your homework. Sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help I me? Absolutely, of I course. finished it. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, <laughs> uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. <laughs> she didn't even have like a textbook with her to answer those questions. Who's this? Samantha. Samantha Myers. School wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Oh, so this is the Max of the school. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? I don't think she was in the first game. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, <laughs> but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Um, oh no. It was... Sad, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, <laughs> so it's cool. Well, people I don't know, apparently know what the book is about, so... I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. Wow. Okay. Uh, he could have just kept saying words, and I don't think Chloe would have been upset. But uh, okay. Oh, is this Justin over here? Let's go talk to Justin. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that means, <laughs> but okay. Damn, girl, that eye looks sick. What's going on? Oh, you sound very different. Cloud of weed smoke. Dude. You need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Wanna hit? No. Like, right here? Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Rude. Alright. Guess we're <laughs> Here he is again! He's gonna get <laughs> Oh, you've got such a Stuff girly walk. Really post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. <laughs> he looks so lost. Why does his shirt say skate for life? <laughs> oh you guy. What a weirdo. Who is this? Oh. Evan. Oh, he was in the first game, wasn't he? Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? He's got a muffin. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According <laughs> to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. I wasn't really listening, so bye. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Um. Oh yeah, get out of class. That'd be sure. cool. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues. I never said I was interested in complicated issues. I just wanted an extra nap. Do you want me to change my mind? I. No. <laughs> How seriously am I taking this right now? Oh. 
Oh, uh, Smokeweed De Bear. Happy to support such an important cause. <laughs> Blackwell Academy, home of <laughs> tomorrow's leaders. Oh, good old Principal Dix and Big McHuge Balls. Wonderful. Thanks so much for signing my petition, Smokeweed D. Bear. Only you can prevent ganja fires. <laughs> Beauty. Okay. Okay. I think this is, these are the, the people we're supposed to be talking to. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, but, I would have totally given him my potion. Oh, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Sweet. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge. It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Rude. I used to play. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner, director's cut, coming right up. Oh, sweet. That's a, that's sweet. a good movie. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. <laughs> you even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. <laughs> dream life of a real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking. You're not me. even asking, Didn't Chloe. Didn't you go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Um, what's it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join her game. Absolutely, I'll play. Yeah. No. I ah, no, I want to play Dungeons right and Dragons. No. So. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. Please? What else have you got to do before class? Please. Please let me play. Hell yeah. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. I can't even pick my character? <laughs> totally an elf barbarian. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. <laughs> Alright. Let's get started. Didn't even get to pick my you character. Are both famous heroes oh, in the so kingdom play of Dungeons and Dragons. I like this. Once peaceful land, we'll just do this now the whole time. laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. <laughs> Introduce your character. Oh dear. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named, uh... Barb. <laughs> Barb. No, 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 no. Steph. Hey, give Barb a chance, okay? <laughs> The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Um. According to my character sheet. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Elamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Damn. You gave her that, Elf Barbarian. <laughs> I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron. I was next to paying attention to what happened. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Oh yeah, let's go to the prison. Your choice, newbie. Let's go to the prison. That's like the Where do you wish the to prison? go? The prison. Uh prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. They will get hella guys. You behold a field of standing iron cages. 
each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself <laughs> in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Rude. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Hmm. Oh, tempt him with bread. Apparently, I have bread. I try to tempt the little bastard out with it. He sticks out his tongue, finding your offering disgusting. Rude. Ugh. Pick the lock? It says here I can pick locks. Can I do that? Sure. You spend a long time trying to pick the lock, but don't accomplish anything. Damn it. The dragonkin makes an obscene gesture at what you can only assume are his genitals. Shit. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. Oh, yeah. You can try. Let's get him. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common. What? Which Rude. means to cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand <laughs> every word you say. Nice. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you oh. try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? All right. Meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. <laughs> the dragon can pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one, but I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. All right, um. Die of old age. Maybe we'll just wait here while you die of old age, dragonkin guy. He is undaunted. I will eat your face, elven garbage lady. Oh, rude. Elven garbage lady? Eat my face? I'm trying. <laughs> I want to reach through the bars and grab the stupid key. You try, but he's incredibly agile. Damn it. He dodges your clumsy attempt with ease. Then he laughs. This tabletop shit is hard. <laughs> Try playing solo. <laughs> the dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he- I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face, and then I laugh. <laughs> Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Nice. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Um... Let's go to the warlord's tent. It's tent time. Wait, have you ever gotten a training camp? There's potential yeah, loot no, there. screw the loot. No, I skip it. Eh, skip it. I'm craving warlord steak. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak. Damn, a two-handed like sword a... that's easily six feet long. His laugh I don't know who he's like. I, <laughs> he reminds me of someone, but I don't know who. Your Probably every guy who's ever worn a scary evil mine. cape. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an Dude. asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. 
The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Oh, of Shit. course. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Arb, what'll it be? Um, brutal punch. That sounds I wonderful. I want to punch that stupid man cow in the dick. <laughs> like, right in the dick. Right in the dick. <laughs> you miss. Durgron burst out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He gores you in the side with a horn. Eight damage. Ow. Ouch. What do you do next? Um, wrathful rush. What? Wrathful rush. It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. That sounds cool. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Nice. Hell yeah. Next. All right, let's do this annihilation strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. What did I roll? What? One. <laughs> That's Damn bad, it. right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy oh, jumble no. of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe oh, strikes dear. Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. This game is awesome. My feet? <laughs> Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. <laughs> Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. Stop. Oh dear. Stop. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um. Jump in front of him? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Barb. <laughs> okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bam, 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 bam. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Oh dear. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Ouch. Lifting you high into the air. Seriously? <laughs> I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. <laughs> we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? So uh, swing for his head. I take one last swing at Durg Dur Dur Face's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Roll high, Chloe. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn, but you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! <laughs> he laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. What? I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to. You don't escape. have feet. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. Oh damn. Are you sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. Nice. I guess. I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, yeah that was cool. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. <laughs> All right. Um... DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Gonna go do chemistry. Oh, 
Oh, someone's bike. Is there, even, is there not even like a bike rack anywhere? I'm surprised there aren't more bikes actually. The school bus is still here. Oh, why? Why would you do that? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. Oh, is that Nathan? A jock what? says dumb. He makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. God, Nathan, you look this like an actual human. Crap, Prescott, it's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Rude. Why would you say that about my boy Nathan? Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. Rude. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need to get? <laughs> wow. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard. When your dad closed the door. Oh damn. And you want to talk oh, shit to me? Oh Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Why not? You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Stop just standing there watching! Um, step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. Let's do this. Gotta use my D and D training. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? You wanna play this game, Mister? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. Oh, damn. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. We're gonna get him. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? <laughs> you want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. Nice. <laughs> Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned me. Nice. Shut the fuck <laughs> get, up, fresh get. meat. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Whoa, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Rude. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. God, there's so many characters here no, that I like because of the first game, because they ended up being cool no people, problem, but Jeff. like. God, they're all jerks. Don't be angry at me. I just yelled at them. Hello. Uh, glad we talked. Me too. Dot dot dot. Now you're doing your best. Love you. Oh. Tempest. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. <laughs> and by future excellence, I mean mole people. Mole people. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. It, it would. Marijuana cigarettes kill. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, good. You're here. Who, who's this? Gabe? Who is that? Is that Rachel? Maybe? I don't know. Who is that? Why is she dressed up like an Halloween costume? I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. 
Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, <laughs> the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Terrible. You, you're killing me. You've had <laughs> weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Oh, Keaton. damn. Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Okay, there's Rachel. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rachel. Who's that? Why do I recognize her? Who is it, Rachel, as always? Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with my affections are then most humble. Is that Diane? I no or Diana? Or whatever her name was? I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because Maybe her I name was Juliet. <laughs> They're very years. different names. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long that time. Is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? Um... What do you think? Miranda's kind of an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she? 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, <laughs> about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Nice. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen <laughs> now. That sounds fun. Oh damn! This music, Your this music is doing something. Fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. What? So. I thought we were going to Kim. Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag so over there. Chloe, we're gonna miss chemistry. Uh, yeah. Chloe. Sure. Chloe, you're gonna miss chemistry. It's nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Oh, <laughs> the time went backwards. That's, oh, no, never mind. Don't, the hand just like, went away. Fall down. Should be doable, right? Um, yes. Hey now, sharing is caring. Oops. Okay. Uh, search. Uh, what's that? Who's Rachel looks so oh. happy here. <laughs> she looks 40. <laughs> There's Rachel's belt. Oh, her belt is very small. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Oh, yeah, let's use the I computer. have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? I ask myself that a lot. Oh, yeah, it is Di Dana. That's what it was. And this is Juliet. Okay. Cool. Let's go give her her belt. Props. Dishes. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. Pepe? Sweet collar, Pepe. <laughs> Should be life is drama. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. <laughs> Playing the blame game. Oh, I can't see because my microphone is in the way. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. <laughs> oh, Logan. You're definitely something. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh dear. Bring it to her? <laughs> well, this has gotten, gotten awkward. That's a cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Oh dear, no. Um, I owe you flowers, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> wow. I'll let you finish changing now. Well, that was definitely very awkward. Even the music was like, this is weird. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Uh, yeah, Firewalk was pretty good. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To again? Tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought... Why? Why does it have to end? Um, because, uh, you know, the way that uh, time works, it just keeps going and stuff happens and maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. I guess. Uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Um, absolutely. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that I... That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Uh, no, it's probably fine. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. <laughs> Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. That sounds pretty good, Rachel Amber. <laughs> okay. We're going, going somewhere. Oh, the train tracks. Ah! Are you gonna go to the junkyard? You sure you don't wanna just grab the bus or? Nope, if we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well, this looks like a fun thing. Well, what the hell am I getting into here? <laughs> You're getting on a train, Chloe. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Seattle? Wow. Oh dear. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. I don't think there's any chairs. Oh. Why, why weren't you camping? Okay. I'm on a train, Elliot. Uh, I remember Drew. What? Okay. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Oh, I want to see what this Maybe means. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. Oh, wow. I wonder what the symbols mean. All my idols are dead? This is only the the here and now. Pain will end. Burn down this fucking town. What does this say? Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator. <laughs> that totally checks out. <laughs> oh, cargo. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Oh, wow. A uh, bomb. Oh. Okay, okay, let's pull up this crate. Move it. <laughs> you moved it like an inch. Oh, there we go. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Okay, sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. <laughs> Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Oh. Should I make small talk? 
Is that what people do? <laughs> Chloe's just like staring at her. Um, let's say nothing, I guess. Rachel will probably say something. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. A little bit. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. I'm bumping my microphone stand. I'm that so sorry. Sucks. Um, I'll just stay silent. Gotta, gotta stay in character. Apparently, Chloe's quiet human. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. Absolutely. That thought occurred. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wanted some company. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, uh, I love company. It to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. <laughs> what reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Uh, apparently not. Yet. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> 